Good morning. How are you? Fine. Sir. How are you, ma'am? Yeah, I'm good. Can I have your resume? Mm -hmm. So, introduce yourself. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for giving an opportunity to introduce myself. I'm Shravya. I'm from Varadhar. And I have completed my uh, graduation in stream of civil engineering with a 72 percentage. And I have completed my post graduation with the MBA in HR specialization with 82 percentage. And coming to my strength, I am self motivated and hard working person. And my weakness are uh, shy and uh, public speaking. And my hobbies are uh, cooking and uh, listening to music. Uh, and we have four members in the family uh, father, father, mother, brother, and me. Uh, that's all about me. You are basing from MBA. Yes, MBA HR with 80 percent as you want. Yeah. Then why you choose testing? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Uh, most of our friends suggested that testing will be best. Okay. And I am uh, uh, basically MBA background. Mm. I also thought that uh, uh, in testing we have greater opportunities. So I, I have moved to this side. So you want to move to IT field? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What the hobbies you mentioned? Uh, cooking and listening to music. Okay. What kind of uh, foods you want to? Both veg and non-veg, ma'am. Veg and non-veg. You are specialist in chicken. In non-veg. Chicken. Butter. Okay. So you are good in testing, right? Thanks, so let me go to the some questions. Explain some testing limitations. Limitations. Mm -hmm. uh, in manual testing, we have some uh, limitations, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, like it is a slow process mm -hmm. and it is a highly budget process. Mm -hmm. uh, and in manual testing, we need a lot of uh, labor expensive. Mm -hmm. So it is a uh, uh, budget thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and in manual testing, we cannot find accurate results. But in automation testing, we can find accurate results. Okay. And uh, GUI object orientation uh, is also not possible in manual testing. Mm -hmm. So manual testing is not suitable for large scale projects. Mm -hmm. And uh, which, uh, the projects which are uh, within uh, time bound, it is also not suitable. So these are some of the limitations of manual testing. What are the common problems in SDLC? SDLC, ma'am. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of problems, ma'am, like uh, uh, lack of communication between the team. Mm -hmm. Like uh, uh, in the requirement gathering and analysis, uh, some team will uh, uh, require uh, what are the analysis, what are the requirements, they will plan about that. In designing process, the designing architecture team only will do the planning. And coming to development, the developer will design the code, that's it. And after development, the tester will test the code. Mm -hmm. Like that step by step process is it has been happening. There is no communication between developer and tester, developer and maintenance like that. Yes. Good. Can you say what is the difference between project and product? Yes, ma'am. Uh, project is nothing but if mm -hmm. we are uh, Designing the application only for one client, mm -hmm. it is called as project. And the whereas coming to pro, uh, product, if we are designing the application for a number of clients, so many clients, it is known as project. Like for example, DCS and Tech Mahindra comes under project, and uh, Google, Gmail, uh, uh, email, these comes under project. If we are uh, apply, up the, we are developing an application for a number of companies, it is called as project. Okay. Can you give some example for product based company? Product, uh, Google, Gmail, Microsoft. What are the SDLC models? Models, uh, yes ma'am, there are 8 models in SDLC. Mm -hmm. uh, waterfall model, prototype model, mm -hmm. spider model, uh, V model, incremental model, agile model, uh, rapid development model, uh, Can you explain Agile model? Uh, yes ma'am. Uh, agile model is nothing but uh, iterative and incremental model is called as Agile model. Uh, iterative is nothing but uh, repetitive. If we are doing the process uh, uh, continuously and in number of times it is called as Agile process in incremental model. In prototype model, uh, once we have in prototype model and in prototype model, once we have started the application, uh, we never go back uh, to the starting stage. But whereas in our agile process, we can do, we can go back uh, to the starting and we can uh, continue the coding from starting to ending. Mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, uh, do the uh, uh, coding n number of times. 
this is one of the advantage of uh, agile and in agile uh, uh, there are some of the advantages like uh, we have uh, accurate results and it is time consuming uh, no it is, uh, in agile process we can uh, get accurate results and here we have uh, a, a scrum okay uh, scrum is nothing but uh, which is uh, a framework which is developed for a software product it is called as scrum mm. and the scrum is based on uh, four principles like a uh, uh, product manager uh, scrum meeting developer and uh, tester here in product manager uh, will design about uh, the uh, project uh, he will discussing about the requirements mm. and he will be direct in contact with the clients and the team mm. he is known as a product manager and whereas scrum master uh, he will be arranging the meetings uh, scrum meetings uh, scrum meeting is nothing but uh, two to four weeks for every two to four weeks we will call it as scrum meeting uh, we should uh, report uh, within these two weeks what we have done about the project we should hand over to the client this is yes, what a sprint sprint that is only one sprint is yes. that uh, scrum means uh, in scrum we have four yes. levels right and the last one is developer and mm -hmm. coding the developer will test the uh, write the code and the tester will test the code okay. what are the levels of testing uh, there are four levels Mm. Uh, unit testing, integration testing, system testing, mm. and uh, user uh, acceptance testing. Okay, what is system testing? Uh, system testing, in system testing we have two types, functional testing and non-functional testing. Mm. Can I explain the functional testing, so like what are the will be involved in functional testing? Uh, like what type of testing? Uh, smooth yeah. testing, uh, regression testing, mm. integration testing. That's all. Yes, that's my Smoke thing. testing, sanity testing, testing, cost testing, testing, quality testing, 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 database testing, end to end testing. Yeah, end to end testing, integration testing, mm. key testing, and adopt testing. Adopt testing. In adopt testing, again we have four types like uh, body testing, mm. body testing, body part testing, and exploratory and testing, and testing. This at all comes under the adopt technique. Yes. So. Can you explain the difference between the smoke testing and sanity testing? Yes, ma'am. Smoke testing means uh, it is the first function, first uh, uh, method of uh, functional testing. Mm -hmm. uh, here, uh, I will know where sanity testing. If uh, we does not have enough time to check all the modules, mm -hmm. uh, then we will check only the main function, main modules of the functionality. Mm -hmm. This is known as sanity testing. Okay. Then what is the difference between regression testing and retesting? Uh, regression and retesting. Yeah, retesting. Yes. Uh, retesting is nothing but uh, once we have tested the code, mm. we have found some bugs, mm. and uh, again the developer has fixed the bug. Again, we will test the code. Then it is known as retesting. Okay. And whereas regression testing, uh, if we found any deviations in the main functionality, mm. like uh, bug fixing, uh, then testing the uh, deviated functionality with the main functionality, mm. this is known as regression testing. Checking the deviated functionalities with existing functionality also. Yes. Can you explain bug life cycle? Yes, ma'am. Uh, shall I explain or while writing? Okay. There is a board. Okay. Can you write and explain okay. in board? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, today I am explaining about bug life cycle. In bug life cycle, there are different uh, steps. Uh, like first step is about test testing. Uh, after the uh, developer has written the code, the tester will test the code. And uh, uh, the developer has tested the code. And after uh, uh, typing the code, the tester will test the code. Uh, the tester will test the code and he will find the, some effects in the code. And if uh, he find the effects, then he will give the status as new. Yeah, here I have found that uh, defect. So uh, my status is uh, new. And again, in, after the uh, uh, tester has uh, uh, found the defect, it has been handed over to the manager or team leader. After handovering to the manager or team leader, he will be assigning to the developer to check whether it is bug or defect. 
after that a uh, developer will check whether it is bug or defect if the uh, developer has uh, uh, tested tested the code again and he is, if he says it as if it is a uh, bug if it is valid if it is existing otherwise if the developer will say no it is not a bug it is just a defect then it will be duplicated after that uh, the developer will start doing the, the code again he will uh, uh, assign the code he will assign to the developer uh, developer will start fixing the bug. Uh, the developer will open the code again. He will start fixing the bug. And uh, he will give the status that bug has been fixed. After fixing the bug, the tester will retest again the code. Again, if the retesting, uh, if we found any bugs or defects in that, uh, um, okay. if uh, we found any uh, defects, again the tester will retest the code. And if, uh, the test, if the if it does not found any defects, uh, then we can sign off or close the code. Yeah, you, exp you explained it very well for life cycle. We will see in further. Oh, thank you. Thank you.